Hi everyone, welcome back to my Life 2D tutorial. Life 2D is able to make a flat object to look more three-dimensional. However, to make object appear with depth, there are some rules we need to learn. In this tutorial, I will show you how to handling some object to look more 3D. When you open Life 2D in tab parameter, you can see the sum of the existing parameters have got x, y, z. This code is used to show direction when make a parameter for left to the model. x for horizontal, y for vertical, and z for tilt or rotate. But this does not mean to just move the object to move right and left. It is about making the object to rotate angle to right and left. To make something like this, we need to separate the front and back part and make sure these two parts are connected. We make the back part is not enough to only cover the visible area. We also need to fill voids and make sure the back part is not bigger than front part. Let's start with three basic shapes first. Cone, shapir, and cylinder. I recommend you to learn these three shapes when you learn Life 2D. When I rotate an object angle to the right, I will make the back part rotate to the left. This creates a sense of depth for the object. This also works for vertical move. Let's move to body parts. When making life 2D models, we not only separate the main body, but also the accessories. This is important in deceiving a sense of spatial depth, making depth and makes object move more lively. These are some examples that usually appear in non-character models. A collar warps around the neck. To allow the neck to move under the collar, we need to separate the front and back part. When drawing the back part, don't make too big or too small. Make it the size that fits the front. And it's also important to draw it neatly, even if it's not really visible. There are some movements that will show the back part. So it's better to make it nitty from the start. Depends of type of sleeve. Some of them need to separate it because it's between the palm joint or need to be given a physical effect. Some type of sleep may need to be separated because they show the back parts during movement. For sleep that show both front and back on the full stance, they may need to be separated too. There's also the option to add basic to the sleeve. This will add more impact than just make a one layer for four up. For drawing the back part, it is easier when you know the basic shape of your object. For example, your belt. Try to imagine the cylinder shape. Now you get the shape of the back part. Since the belt might not move too much, Drawing only the back edge part of the belt will work. 
Chris Benicelli issued the cover, the cut between palm and forearm are parts. Even worse band didn't show a depth, it's still important to have it separated into front and back parts. In case if you add more movement for the palm. Works like color. When drawing the back part, we then just make it to cover the back part. Draw it follow the art flow. So the completed products look more natural. For hoods, the back part doesn't need to have the same shape as the front part. Coloring it with short color is okay, as long they cover the visible part. When drawing the back parts for skirts or dresses, always keep in mind when the leg and width. Careful not to make it bigger than front, but larger back piece will always allow more movement for your character. If you're drawing a simple horse, it's fine to just make uh, one part. But when you're drawing more complex horns, such as an antelope or demon horn, it's better to separate front and back parts. Because when you look from the side, the horn shape is not a perpendicular shape, but a groove. In this case, separating it to front and back parts will make the object look much more real. This is the common thing will show up when making the character for life 2D. You can also apply this rule to the another thing like umbrella, a barrel, and many more.